Our David Robichaud has been there throughout the morning for us. Uh, north of town there where another community uh, that's seeing the effects of this storm. Roby, how are the conditions? Still look snowy and windy. Kate, it's definitely snowy, windy with that heavy consistency that leads to power outages. Once again, I'll refer to those trees behind us there that you can see them sagging down. Uh, Lawrence and over these communities up in this area have been plagued by power outages because a lot of these trees have come down on wires. Uh, Lawrence police a uh, short time ago just giving us an update. According to National Grid, 3,200 customers without power now in the Merrimack Valley, and they're saying most of those are tree related. So we're starting to see that happen right now. In terms of the roads, uh, very heavy, slippery snow coming down right now. We're noticing they're not really paying too much attention to the side streets. They're taking care of the main roads. This is Andover Street right behind us here in Lawrence. I want to bring in um, Roy Paris. He works for the uh, Lawrence Housing Authority. You've been driving around, Roy. How, how are the driving conditions? Uh, not very well. Uh, it's very slippery, a lot of wind, low visibility. Um, better off just to stay in if you can. You were telling me that, uh, speaking of that, that you didn't see a lot of cars out there, fortunately? No, that's, it's been very quiet. A lot of people have listened to the weather people and uh, the government has been staying in their houses and stuff, which is very good for the plow crews to clean the roads. And, and you guys have been doing some shoveling at the Housing Authority. Let's bring in Michael here for a second. I just want you, Michael, give us a quick demo here of shoveling. I want to give people an idea of what this is like. This is this wet, slushy, heavy. Make sure you bend the knees, Michael. <laughs> so what, how, what is the consistency like, Michael? What is it like? It seems like things are sticking down to the ground pretty much, and snow's starting to get heavy, especially with the slush under. Pretty fluffy on top, but on there is where the heavy stuff is. Right, so you guys really got to stay ahead of it. Roy, I'm going to bring you in one more time here. Um, Kate, Roy is a huge Barry Burbank fan and just wanted to give a quick shout out on, on the 40th. So, congratulations, Barry. Thanks a lot for all the years, and I hope you go a lot longer. If you could pass that on, he, uh, he sent me a text that I'll have to forward to Barry later, but. Uh, uh, Congratulations, Barry, on the 40th. Uh, Barry's getting on his uh, cross-country skis now, right, Roy? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> All right. Leave it to Barry, right, and getting his exercise in. All right. All Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks you. for stopping by. So, again, very, very heavy conditions up here in the uh, Lawrence-Andover area. Poor visibility, heavy snow now. A lot of drivers apparently heeding uh, the warnings Except for this guy who's backing up on Andover Street right now. He's going to dunks. I can't really blame him. All right, that's the latest live in Lawrence. I'm David Robichaud. Back to you in the studio. All right.